getting you started we are going to begin with the state of karnataka a major upset in the assembly elections for the bharatiya janata party where it ended up giving the government to the congress party a well coordinated campaign where the congress swept to power with sidaramaiah as chief minister what happens in the lok sabha election and the bjp and jds together are getting 23 out of 28 seats here the congress five seats and others are at none let's take a look at the vote share now and the vote share as compared to 2019 we'll show you comparison in just a bit but the bjp and jds together have 53% the congress 44% and others are at 3% let's take a look at the comparison of the seats between 2019 and 2024 you have the bjp at 25 in 2019 now the projection is it will be at 21 or 22 so the congress despite a thumping win in the assembly election is not able to capitalize much on its gains there and only a gain of 3 to 5 seats is happening the jds pretty much is at the same spot let's take a look now at the poll of polls for karnataka what does it say the poll of polls again says that uh, you have access my india nda plus all right the uh, p mark exit poll gives 22 matrice gives 22 and we also give about 22 20 20 21 or 22 uh Let me quickly introduce to you the guest joining us now, Sanju Verma, national spokesperson of the BJP. Sophologist Jay Mrug with me here in the studio. JVC Shriram, political strategist and commentator. Tushar Gupta, political analyst. Dr. Akash Deep Muni, political analyst. Tehsin Puna Wala, all here with us, and we'll go state by state. First up, Karnataka. JVC, what do you make of these results? Twenty-one or twenty-two? I think it's a stupendous performance, mm. uh, com- uh, considering the fact that. BJP had a drubbing in the assembly election. It is an oath for Modi, and we need to also look at how much of Lingayats are back to BJP hmm. because Lingayats had moved away in the assembly election. Now, if Lingayats plus Okaligas have come back to BJP, then that's a big story there. And we also need to look at Bangalore rural seat. Hmm. Bangalore rural seat is DK Suresh winning or is losing? If he is losing, then Tejin Punawala, I can tell you. There is going to be a conspiracy angle between D K Shiv Kumar and Siddaramaiah. No, and there are a lot of seats in the north as well, which are going the Congress's way. So, what will be interesting to see? Which are these seats that the Congress is gaining? What is your sense, Tessie? My sense is, see, I have no reason to doubt your numbers, but I don't think the Lingayat vote, despite uh, uh, despite uh, Shetter etc. shifting, has gone decisively to the BJP. I do believe very strongly in Karnataka, the Congress will get. 14 to 15 seats. I do believe this extremely strongly. Forget whatever I say as rhetoric. I'm not saying that. I do believe the Congress is an extremely strong organization, and it's a very resourceful organization. And both the states of Congress in uh, Telangana and Karnataka, they fought very, very hard. They have mm. no shortage of resources. Uh, aggressive chief ministers and a deputy chief minister in DK. So I do, and I don't see why the Lingayat vote has gone back. In fact, yes, some amount of Lingayat votes would have gone, but not the vocal Lingayat votes, the minorities vote, the Kurba vote, the SC vote. Is by and large with the Congress. You I know, don't we'll see do those numbers changing. We'll do slicing and dicing of the caste-wise data as well. But from what I know right now, the Kurba vote over 50 percent of the Kurba vote has actually gone to the BJP. How? Among vocal leaders, the majority vote has gone to the BJP, and among the Lingayats, also the majority vote has gone. How? That's what we are seeing in the exit poll. Jay, what do you make of these numbers? See, the, I would look at history. 2013 Assembly elections, the BJP got about 39, 40 seats. Yet 2014 parliamentary elections, the BJP was 17 on 28. 2000 cut to 10 years later, 2003, a uh, 23 assembly elections, the BJP is around 65. So therefore, a parliamentary number like 23 does not look unreal or unnatural. Hmm. I think it's perfectly in tune with the last trend. Sanju Verma, you have reason to smile. Most people <laughs> predicted a complete decimation of the BJP in the Lok Sabha in Karnataka. You have problems. You still have problems. The corruption tag, the infighting. But 22. Last time you had 25. This time you have 22. Uh, you know, Padma Jai, there's one person on the panel who's smiling more than me. It's Tehsin. Uh, I say that on a lighter note, <laughs> but coming to the I'm more. Sorry, I'm smiling, point. looking at you, smile. Sorry, I'm smiling, <laughs> looking at you, smile. 
Okay, good. Good, Tessina. I'm not in the mood to fight today uh, because the numbers on Padmaja's, uh, you know, um, screen, uh, they tell a story and the stories, Fir se is baar, tisri baar, Modi sarkar. Uh, but anyway, coming to the moot point, I think, uh, you know, your colleague Jay made a very interesting point. Uh, BJP's worst performance in Karnataka assembly elections was 2013 when we got 40 seats only. But in the subsequent Lok Sabha elections, our tally was 1919 seats, uh, which then uh, became, you know, 17 to 19 seats uh, is what we got in 2014. Uh, it was again a sub 20 in 2019. Uh, you know, uh, sorry, we got 25 seats in 2019. The limited point is this. Karnataka, Congress's best performance in last three Lok Sabha elections, 2009, 14 and 2019, is nine seats. And the BJP's worst performance in Karnataka in the last three Lok Sabha elections is 1717 seats. Hmm. So look at the disparity. The so-called main opposition party, ki best performance is limited to nine seats on the higher side. And the BJP's worst performance on the lower side is limited to 17 seats. I mean, look at the disparity. But the more important point is this. The numbers don't always tell the entire story, though they give you a good sense. I think one very important point which we have to understand is that while DK Shivakumar comes from the Vokaliga community, the Kuruba community is where Siddharamaya comes from. And let's be very clear. This election is not about Lingayats versus Vokaligas versus uh, Kurubas alone. This election 2024 Lok Sabha Karnataka is a mandate about the misgovernance in the last one year. Barely a few days back, the Karnataka Siddharamaya government completed a year. They said 10 kg ration free denge. They went back on that and blamed Narendra Modi and the Food Corporation of India. Mm. And Bhai Saab, when you said we'll give 10 kg ration free, did you ask the Food Corporation of India? Okay. Food Corporation of India's buffer stock is meant for contingencies, okay. not to, you know, uh, adhere to election promises. Then wait, okay. wait a minute. Look at the number of Hindu saints, seers and Three or four Jain saints and seers murdered in Karnataka. Look at the case of Neha Hiremat. You know, it took a Narendra Modi, a JT Nadda and an Amit Shah to bring focus. Okay. And of course, media houses like Times Now, you know, DK Shivkumar ne kaha kuch hua hi nahi. Anti-incumbents already kicking in, in Karnataka? Tehseen Poonawala? I don't believe these numbers. I believe all your other numbers, but I don't believe Karnataka and telling uh, Karnataka numbers for sure. I believe the Congress is getting 14 to 15, worst case scenario. But on the rice thing, I just want to say that that rice uh, from the scheme, that was the, 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 the flagship scheme of the Prime Minister, the rice was being sold by the government, the union government for alcohol and not being given to poor people. I think that is uncalled for. The same no, FCI I need to from Chhattisgarh. This. Uh, from the Chhattisgarh procurement allowed it, but it was the Congress government. That's unfair. You can give rice for alcohol, you can't give it for poor people. Okay, That's very quickly, unfair. very quickly, That's Sanju Arman respond, but let's, let's, not, let's not digress, please. Sanju yeah, Arman respond to the, the let's topic not digress, please. Yes. Yes. I wanted to you know, correct Can that. I please, Taisin? Yeah, you know, please. Uh, Padmaja, uh, Padmaja, the beauty is that Taisin can lie with a straight face. Are Let it? me be very clear. The Food Corporation of India has a buffer stock which is meant to be used for contingencies. When there is a drought or there are floods and suddenly the food production uh, takes a dramatic, uh, uh, you know, fall or, you know, for any other reasons, but it is certainly not meant for government. Okay. Please keep quiet. It is certainly not meant for election promises by a debilitated Congress party, which says, 10 kg ration free, they say, we have promised it, but the Food Corporation of India went okay. back to okay, the Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's चौबीस ये तारीख भारत का भविष्य तय करने जा रही है चार जून नरेंद्र मोदी हिंदुस्तान के प्रधानमंत्री नहीं रहेंगे